Hello, I'm Andrea Palm Porter, the Executive Director of Roaring Fork Leadership, here to talk about learning management systems, otherwise LMS, and specifically LearnDash. Technology is changing the landscape of education as the online education industry has grown and advanced significantly over the last few years. According to CSU Global, technology enhances learning experiences to support lifelong learning at any age. One such tool that has advanced learning is a learning management system, or LMS. This video will help you learn about LearnDash, Roaring Fork Leadership's chosen learning management system. In this upcoming video that you'll see on the next slide, I will show you how to use it and how it benefits today's learners. RFL chose LearnDash based on its versatility, ease, and flexibility for both the online learning designer and the user. According to Martin, et al. 2019, effective online courses start with the design phase and include varying assessments, evaluations, gamifications, interactive activity, and facilitation. Additionally, LearnDash was chosen due to its high rating of LMSs available in the online education platform space. It integrates well with RFL's WordPress website, website and offers varying tools and usability to adapt to different learning styles of users. As more and more learners are consuming video content to learn new concepts, we wanted to offer a useful tool to help in navigate the use of our LMS. Well, let's begin. Let's start by getting logged in. Currently, we're on the homepage of rfleadership.org. Um, you should have been provided a username and password for the learning management system to the enrolled course that you have. Here you'll have an option to log in, which is right here in the main navigation. You can click on login and you'll get a pop-up window, which will get you logged in to the courses um, in the learning management system. So here I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my information and now you can see this is turned to log out, which means I'm logged in. I'm gonna go in here and look at all of the courses. It's not to say you're enrolled in all of them. Um, again, you're gonna have that information in a separate email, but in this case, we're gonna be going into the technology guide for distance and digital learning to use as our example. Here we click on the heading and now you can see we are enrolled and we have course content. If you weren't enrolled, you would see that you get a message that says um, that you're not enrolled. So here you can see a little bit of information about the course and then you're gonna get course content below. A trick here also is to expand all so you can see everything that's included. Within a course, you have lessons, which are the hierarchy here, and topics. So that's just to give you some additional information of what to look for. That's why by expanding, you can see everything that's included in the content. So what's interesting is according to Sharma, when developing online learnings, it's important to include both formal and informal learning opportunities that offer a flow of content, as you can see here in the course design, that is easy to navigate. Of course, we want to give learners opportunities to reflect and include videos and gamification for entertainment and higher engagement, and I'll show you some of those. So here we're going to go ahead and click on about Andrea Palm Porter, which is me, and you're going to go ahead and be able to read a little bit about my background. Um, and then, of course, once you're done with this, you can click the mark complete button. And it automatically moves you to the next lesson, which you can see um, you have buttons on the bottom to toggle between lessons. So here we get to learn a little bit more about digital tools in the learning experience, and um, we can click on one of these topics. What has shifted now is the course content is all over here on the left navigation, also making it easy to navigate all of the information provided. Here we're going to go ahead and say getting started with an LMS. So there are some step-by-step -step instructions if you ever need to come back and are having issues within the system. Of course, we offer you to go ahead and email me at any time for questions. 
I do want to point out the H5P content. What is really fun about H5P is that it offers interactivity within course content. So for this example, you can see you can go ahead and, and um, play crossword puzzles. Here's an example of a quiz where you can just, what is a key characteristic of transformational leadership? And you can pick what you think is the right answer. And you can see we got a correct answer right there and it'll automatically take you to the next one. Um, another example is accordion information. So it's a way to just to expand on information that you can see helps the learner just have a little more interactivity within the content of what is going on. Um, so another way to even back out of this is that you can see the RFL logo up here in the left. If you ever want to get back into the um, homepage, you can do that so that you can see um, all of the courses. Of course, we need you to um, log back into all of the courses where you can see and then jump back to the one that you want. So another one I wanted to show you is RFL self-leadership. So this is another one of our self-paced online learning programs. When we click on this, again, you're gonna see course content. Um, we can, uh, again, what we can see is about Andrea Palm Porter. We saw that in the last uh, course. And now we get into um, actual content and pre-assignments of the course with course content. So just a quick click to see a self-assessment. And here is where you can go ahead and create a document by entering in information. So here is where you would answer a question, another one. And of course they're highlighted red because it's mandatory to enter in information. And then when you're done, you're gonna go back and now you can export the document. So it'll say what kind of, it'll show your responses in there and then you just go ahead and click export. So this is one of the interactive aspects of this program. Um, here you can see course objectives and you can go in ahead and say what you wanna get out of it. So you have reflection. Another way is you can hit, once you enter in information, you can hit reuse. And then again, you can download the content. So again, you have copies of the information. You can proceed on to the next lessons. Here is another example where you can see accordion content of understanding different aspects within the course and again, making connections. So that is a quick tutorial and a sense of how to get in and understanding course content. Again, there's lots of images, downloading, downloadable materials and ways to interact with the content. Even at the end of this course, another example is you can go in and do a reflection, which is also extremely important. So, and then when you're done with the course, you can go back again to the navigation in here when we're all said and done and you want to uh, be complete in your um, lesson, you can log out. But in the course design that has been done here, We've done a lot of work to enhance learners for all different learning styles, auditory, kinesthetic, and visual. So as you saw within the courses, you're gonna be able to find videos such as this one um, and aspects for auditory and visual learners, um, as well as the kinesthetic as they're answering questions and being interactive with content. I hope you found this video informational to support understanding learning technologies and, of course, the Roaring Fork Leadership's learning management system. I'm going to go ahead and log out. And thank you for watching. Well, again, thank you for taking the time to learn about Roaring Fork Leadership's learning management system. And please do reach out to me um, if you have any questions.